What is up, New York Giants fans? Thank you for tuning in to Tommy's Takes. I'm your host, Tommy G. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. And for that, thank you. Please like, comment, subscribe, turn notifications on. Check me out on Twitter at TommyG105. All the love and the support is much appreciated by me. Um, I'm going to be bringing you the hottest Giants takes all season long. Um, thank you for all the support so far. Without further ado, let's get into it. Fan Fest, uh, amazing turnout, exciting energy in the building. You know, for a team that struggled for the better part of the last decade, uh, five straight seasons with 10 losses or more, um, the turnout was amazing. The, the New York Giants have some of the most loyal fans in the NFL, and it really showed. Um, but it's time for the Giants to start giving back here, right? It's time for them to say, hey, thank you for your support. We're going to give you something to cheer about past October, right? Let's go to the scrimmage, mixed bag. Passing offense struggled, running offense looked good. Why, you ask? Well, look at the offensive line. Feliciano, Lemieux, and Glowinski. Their strength is run blocking, right? So we're, we're going to be strong run blocking in the interior. And that's what you're seeing. You're seeing Barkley pop a, a pretty deep run. Um, I think it was off the left guard, off of Lemieux, which was nice to see. But again, it's a mixed bag. Jones struggled, uh, you know, had the near pick six to, to start the scrimmage, had the ugly curl route to, to Galladay, which was a sloppy route, and Jones had to throw it away. But not really the stuff you want to see on tape, uh, you know, a couple weeks into training camp here. Again, you know, when you look at FanFest, it is just a scrimmage. Um, you could kind of see when they went out there, they were going through the motions. You know, no pun intended, there wasn't a lot of motion. Uh, wasn't a lot of pre-snap adjustments. Um, but we have seen some of the stuff on tape in training camp. You know, receivers not in the right spot. Receivers dropping passes. Jones being inaccurate. Jones la lacking velocity. It's not what you want to see from this New York Giants football team. But it is still early, and the running game has looked good. So that's something to hang your hat on if you're a New York Giants fan. Uh, tough loss for the team. Uh, Marcus McKeithen, uh, the guard out of North Carolina that they drafted out of the fifth round this year, um, you know, was going to play a little bit of that swing tackle role, which we were already thin at. The Giants were already thin at. So um, very tough, tough loss, especially in, in a scrimmage like that. Uh, tough to see. You hope the kid gets better quick. Uh, you know, prayers up to him and his family. ACLs are never easy to recover. Uh, and the Giants needed him on the offensive line. Um, so picked up a few guys. Um, they picked up uh, Eric Smith who was cut by the Cardinals, um, 6'7", uh, 312, um, you know, can play the swing tackle position. Uh, they also picked up Will Holden. Uh, he's kind of been a journeyman. Um, you know, he could pop him in there. Listen, at this point, you need offensive linemen. You do not want to happen to this team what happened last season where you had to start making trades for the Billy Prices of the world. Um, so tough loss. A um, couple other thoughts, thoughts on, on a fan fest. Uh, I thought Evan Neal had some good reps there. Uh, he had the, the crazy play against Ellerson Smith where he just bodied him into the end zone. And, and that's what we want to see, you know, uh, for, from Evan Neal. You want to see him get his big mitts on him. You want to see him use his strength, use his big body. Uh, I'm not worried about him at all. Um, I know he's had some tough reps in camp. Listen, Feliciano came out and said, this is the most veteran rookie that I've ever seen. And that's impressive. That That's something you look at because that brings intelligence. That brings focus, concentration. So I'm not worried about Neil. He'll be just fine. Uh, hasn't played right, right tackle since his sophomore year at Alabama. It's going to take time. And uh, he looked good during the, the Fan Fest scrimmage. Kayvon Thibodeau continues to, to, to look amazing out there and, and you know you almost don't want to talk about it because you don't want to jinx the kid but he has looked phenomenal strong quick off the edge uh, he has that burst you know when you watch him on film you see that burst come off the camera um, so it has been really really a, a pleasure seeing Kayvon Thibodeau start to develop here and uh, you know excited to see what he brings in the regular season um, other than that, for FanFest, conditioning was a huge focus. The first team ran two drives that totaled, I believe, 34 plays. You know, uh, um, the ball said, hey, you know, I got to get these guys conditioned. You know, they need it. We need to see where they're at. We need to see how they are in certain circumstances. Um, the third team, which I thought was, was pretty interesting, the third team actually got to do some hitting and some, some tackling in the scrimmage. Uh, when asked about that, the ball said, hey, they're going to be playing the majority of these preseason games. So we need him hitting in there. We need him getting used to that contact. And he's right. 
Um, you know, I don't know what his plan is yet for the preseason. Obviously, uh, the Giants have New England coming up very soon. You know, he hasn't really keyed in on who, you know, how long his starters are going to play. Obviously, last season, Joe Judge decided not to play him as much. Uh, and that backfired because the offense wasn't where it needed to be. Uh, and they needed those reps. So curious to see how, um, you know, the coaching staff plays that. Uh, but that really fan fest, it was an amazing event. Um, you know, the Giants organization did a great job. Um, there was amazing tailgates. All the great Giant content creators uh, were there. Uh, uh, it was really a blast uh, to watch and see that. Um, you know, a couple thoughts from training camp that I've been seeing the couple day, the last couple days that that I kind of wanted to dig into here. Um, the D line has been dominant. Let, let's not like beat around the bush. Uh, between uh, you know, Leonard Williams has been unblockable. You know, I really think this is going to be a huge season for Leonard Williams. Uh, I tweeted it out a couple days ago when I said I think he could get back to his 2020 form. Uh, had a little debate where someone was saying, hey. You know, that's not necessarily him. He doesn't need to hit those numbers. He was hitting those numbers for this, 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 and that reason. I think he could get back to those numbers. You know, you have Kayvon Thibodeau on one side. You hope Aziz Ojalari could get back healthy on the other side. Dexter Lawrence and Liam in the, mil in the middle. Who will you block, right? You know, if you're if you're a, a offensive coordinator, good luck blocking those guys. Um, but I think the D line has played phenomenal. Um, you know, they have made it tough on the offense. I think that's where kind of some of the offensive struggles have come. Also, uh, constant pressure, especially in the in the in the middle. The interior offensive line has struggled to pass block. Um, but the flip side, again in camp, just like in Fan Fest, the running game has looked good. You know. There's been holes for Barkley. Um, you know, he looks great. Uh, Lemieux looks great run blocking. Um, you know, they've been kind of scrappy the last couple. Of, you know, we'll call it scrappy the last couple of, uh, of practices. The offensive line, uh, you know, we've seen a big brawl that happened with Feliciano, um, Tay Crowder, um, and the defense. So, you know, brawls happen. Um, never want to see the coach get, get mixed up into it. Uh, you want to see him kind of be the peacemaker and get things situated. Uh, but these things are going to happen, you know, especially when uh, Brian Dayball said earlier in the week, hey, we're turning up the intensity. This is it. You know, we're starting to move this thing along. Uh, and when you turn up the intensity, you're going to have some fights happen. Um, tight end one, you know, I wanted to talk about that really quick. Uh, tough loss, Andre Miller, uh, broken forearm. <coughs> Excuse me. He was seeing some reps uh, uh, with the first team, which was nice. Uh, so now you're kind of down to uh, Bellinger, Seals Jones, Aikens, um, and Austin Allen. You know, excited to see what Austin Allen could do uh, from Nebraska. Really liked him coming out of the draft. Uh, excited to see what the Giants can do with him. But for a team that's struggling with depth, you don't want to lose anybody for, for an extended period of time. Um, overall, I think that the Giants are headed in the right direction. They made the changes they needed to ma make. It may not be pretty on tape at first, but you have to understand they're installing a bunch of new stuff. Um, these wide receivers and Daniel Jones don't have the best rapport yet. And if you think back to last season, um, Giants struggled with all those injuries. Tony was out. Galladay was out. Uh, Shepard was out. Uh, Jones himself was out. So not only do you have a new offensive system, not only do you have new offensive linemen that you're trying to integrate in there. Uh, and it's funny, too, because, you know, Feliciano was talking about it recently. And he said, you know, we're on the line and we're making some, you know, calls and, and we're using verbiage from different systems and we just need to get on the same page um, that was Feliciano I think that was important because that gives you a glimpse of why there have been some struggles in the offense there's a lot of new moving parts in there the expectation is that as they go along they get better and we're going to see. We're going to see if Jones can be that guy. Um, do they bring Tyrod in to try to get some first-team reps here in camp soon, just in case? Uh, we'll see. Um, but overall, awesome job with FanFest. Thursday night, first preseason game. Um, I know everybody's excited for that. I know Giants fans are super pumped. Uh, going to Foxborough against Bill Belichick. Going to see their old friend Joe Judge. And we're going to see some more of what this Giants team could do. Uh, we're going to see some glimpses of what they actually could do on offense. I think they might show a little bit. They're not going to show a lot. Uh, and we get to see that defensive line live in person. Right? Um, thank you, everybody. Uh, appreciate you tuning in, as always. Um, I'll be back soon. And check me out next time. Peace.